in this particular discussion we will be talking about FTK2 and the searching capability within FTK2. For those individuals that have not had an opportunity to review some of our other presentations or discussions, please review those out on our website as they will be most useful to you in helping you understand how FTK2 uh, operates and some of the functions and utilities within FTK2. As you can see, I've already processed a case, and this is making some assumptions uh, through this discussion that I've processed the case, I've indexed the case, and now I want to search out various patterns within the case or text or hexed based on uh, my selections here. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and open up this particular case, and uh, we're going to observe some of the functionality within uh, the capabilities of FTK2 and the searching capability here. We'll go ahead and uh, navigate over here to the Live Search tab, which allows us to do a number of different searching functionalities uh, within FTK2. As you can see, you have the ability here to do a pattern search, uh, whether you want to do a hex search, if you know the hex value that's in, that you're searching out, the text uh, that you might be searching. Secondary to that is you have the ability here to select based on Unicode and the various double-bit languages uh, if, you're, if you're trying to search out a... Uh, evidence file and it may contain that you have the ability to search those out and secondary to that is you have the UTF uh, capability here on the UTF 16 as well as UTF 8 um, to search those out so you can actually select those as part of your search patterns as well as you've got the code page capability here that you can s utilize the various code pages in the event that you may have uh, a foreign file here that uh, might be a different code page in which you might need to search out. You can select that appropriate co code page if it's not currently selected. As well as you have the uh, the the EBCDIC as well as MAC uh, along with the multi-byte as you've seen here. So you've got a number of different things that you can utilize in your search criteria. Uh, one of the other nice things here is the capability under the pattern search here is to be able to utilize various grep functionalities. Those that are familiar with the grep uh, functions uh, might, might understand these a little bit better. Um, but this will help you in refining some of those searches in which you are utilizing uh, based on whether it be a tab or a space or certain boundaries in which you might want to take and search, search, search under. allows you to, to, to put different patterns in here. Uh, secondary to that is you have the ability here based on a .org, .net, uh, .gov, credit card information. Um, these are all predefined. Uh, these are not add-ons necessarily. These these come with FTK2, so you don't have to buy add-ons to to utilize them. These functions uh, within the the uh, expressions here, you have the ability also to edit them in the event that uh, by chance something is not working as you would expect, or if by chance you want to refine that in some mannerism, you do have that capability to do so. So as you can see, there's a number of different things in which you can actually do in that, f in that uh, functionality, uh, as well as you can apply given filters as well uh, during that searching so that you can kind of um, narrow your, your uh, search criteria down as well on top of the search pattern that you're utilizing. We'll go ahead and uh, select the option here under the index search, whereas we can do a number of other things within FTK2. As I indicated, you do have the capability here to search under uh, double-bit languages uh, as well as the Unicode. As you can see, that it's finding a number of different hits here that you can search out. Um, but for the purpose of this discussion, we're going to go ahead and search this out and uh, look for another type of wording. As I indicated, you have uh, a number of different things in which you can search out here if you want to search out... Uh, as you can see, it's, it's auto-populating based on what I've already indexed in here. As you can see, it uh, is finding certain things um, within the search pattern. You have the ability here to add that in. Um, you, can, you can do an and or if you choose to, or you can select just uh, uh, one particular search term. Um, for the purpose of this discussion, we'll go ahead and select just the, the schema uh, option that I've, I've put in here. Clear the uh, secondary one out here. We'll go ahead and do a search on that. And as you can see, it's found a number of different hits. And based on that, I'm finding some hits within the allocated space as well as the, uh, I can look in the unallocated space. Now in this particular scenario here, um, I've got a couple different hits here. 
and as you can see down here in the filtered area, it highlights the uh, the item in which I have I've identified within my search pattern. Again, you have the ability here to look under the hex if you want to take it to a very granular level, and those that are familiar with hex uh, can take it down to that granular level or under a text view, natural view, as well as uh, uh, the filtered view. Um, as you can see, I've also got... Uh, couple different other options here that I can also select based on whether I want to do some fuzzy searches, stemming searches, phonics. Uh, you have the ability here to select those or you have the ability actually to refine that pattern search down to a very granular level based on a file date, uh, creation date. And this is assuming that you know some of that information. There's a, there's a vast amount of different things that you can do in your search patterns. Um, as I indicated, you, you have a lot of different things that you can do here. You can also save that as a default in the event that you want to take and keep that as a typical default in which you're doing your searches on particular cases. That pretty much covers um, what I wanted to talk about here in a brief discussion on the FTK2 and the searching capability. Those individuals that would like to know more about it, feel free to look at some of our other webinars or possibly attend some of our classes where we will go into great depth on a lot of these uh, search criteria. Thank you and I appreciate your time and have a wonderful day.